Hey everyone, welcome to Rogue Gear Reviews. I'm Tom from Morton's on the Move, and today we're taking a look at the new cam Wi-Fi dash camera from New Vending. So this is a dash camera. It's designed to be mounted to the windshield of your vehicle and record every single time the vehicle moves. We really wanted one of these to record our experiences where we've been and use it in our travel videos. A lot of people also install dash cams just to record everything so that if you're in an accident or you see something that happens on the road, you have proof of what happened. So in the box, you get the camera, about a 12 foot long car charging cable, a suction cup mount, a regular sticky mount, and a USB power cable. So this specific camera is a high definition camera. It can record up to 2K at 30 frames per second or 1080 at 60 frames per second. So this is a very lightweight camera. It's designed to mount to a suction cup or a sticky mount on the windshield of the car and then it can rotate so you can easily get it pointed forward, which is a great feature because we've known some people that have very flat windshields like on a Jeep, you could suction cup this on and still get a nice uh, forward facing, I guess it would, it would be like that. On the front of the camera, you have a microphone port. This does pick up audio as well as video. On the side here, you've got your micro SD port. It comes with a 32 gig card already installed in it. This is your Wi-Fi connectivity. You can turn it on and off and you use Wi-Fi to log into the camera and change all the settings. On the right hand side of the camera, you'll see it's got a micro HDMI port. I'm not exactly sure what you'd use that for, but it can output the video live via HDMI stream. Also your USB power port, the power button to actually shut it off, and the video to video button to turn on and off the video. This camera is designed, however, to start recording every single time the power comes on. When you plug in the USB, when the auxiliary port in your car becomes live, this immediately starts recording. So it always records what you're seeing when driving your vehicle. The lens on the camera is about 160 degree field of view, so it captures a really nice wide angle in front of your vehicle. A neat feature of this dash cam as well is that it records short snippets of files. You can set it at one minute to five minute intervals, and after it reaches the end of its storage capacity, it goes over to the beginning and starts deleting the original files and recording over them again, so that you never miss out on what has, you've seen in the car back to it, about eight hours it'll record 32 gigs when uh, recording at 1080. So because the file system of this camera is designed to write over the original files so that you always have the footage and it never runs out of space, you could accidentally write over an instance, like an accident or something, if it continued to record it after an accident. And to prevent that, this has a G sensor built into it. And if it senses a large impact in the vehicle, it takes that section of file and stores it away into an events folder that it will not write over. So you will not lose those files. So this camera does not have a battery built into it. It's not intended to function on its own, but for the sake of this review, I've plugged it into a little portable battery bank using its USB cable. I've actually found this to be a really neat way to use this camera as well. I just took a little sticky mount and stuck it right to this little battery bank here. This battery bank is sold by New Vending as well. I'm not gonna do a review specifically on this today, but I will put a link in the description below for it. We keep one of these in the car as well because then we can easily just take the camera off the dash, plug it into here, and now we can run around with an action camera type camera because we found the video quality to be pretty good. For the sake of the video quality, I'm gonna show you a comparison between this camera and the well-known GoPro Hero 4 footage side by side right now. In the footage, you will notice the timestamp on the footage from the dash cam. It's designed to let you know when and where that footage was taken. However, that is an option you can turn off in the settings. The camera is advertised as having low light capability. I'll show you some night footage from us driving the other night. I wouldn't say that it doesn't have night vision or anything. It does pick up low light quite well. It can see from the headlights pretty well. Um, but it definitely doesn't have any IR. It's not really intended for use at night, but it still captures what's in front of you with your headlights quite well. So now we've got this camera powered up and the Wi-Fi switch is in the on position. So now I can connect to this using any Wi-Fi enabled device. So before connecting to the camera, you need to install the Lincoln Eyes app, which is available on both iOS and Android operating systems. Once the camera's on, you'll see its Wi-Fi network available on the device. Select it and enter the password for the device to connect to it. Then go back and select the app. The app will connect to the camera and show a live feed of what the camera is seeing. However, there is a little bit of a delay between the camera and the app. 
The app is primarily used to access the settings. In the settings, you can select the video resolution, photo resolution, whether you want the timestamp on or off, and a whole bunch of other settings like the G sensor sensitivity, microphone, and a whole bunch more. So installing this dash cam was really easy. I used the suction cup mount and installed it behind the rear view mirror. I like installing it there because it's out of the way. You can't see it when you're in the car. We used the long car power cable and ran it along the molding of the truck from a port that is activated when the car is on. It was easy to hide the wires along the molding so that you didn't see them at all. Even in our big truck, this cable was plenty long to install it without seeing the cable. With the power wire plugged into the auxiliary port, it comes on anytime the vehicle comes on, and the camera makes a happy little sound to let you know it has turned on and started recording. When you shut off the vehicle, the camera automatically stops recording and makes a little shutdown sound as well. If you have an auxiliary port that's hot all the time in your vehicle, you may have to plug it in and unplug it to get it to start and stop recording. We've been using this camera for the past couple weeks and we have been very happy with it. The video quality is really quite good. We also like the functionality of being able to take a portable power source along so that if we needed, we could take this camera off, plug it in and use it as a camera on our journeys. We will definitely be using this in our travels to document where we've been. I really like the file system, how it records the short one to five minute clips depending on your settings and records over them so that you've always got your most recent footage available. You can easily take those pieces down and save them for later use. I did test the GeForce functionality with it installed. If you bump it, I mean a bump like that will cause it to save those files so that you can't lose them. And that gives us peace of mind just knowing that it's recording all the time and if something happens, you won't miss it. You'll be able to go back and look at it. I feel like this is really important for people that travel a lot and especially us when we're towing and we're in unfamiliar places all the time. I think it's, it's just really good to have that so that you can record what's going on. Another thing I liked about this is in the past, we've set up our GoPro mounted to the windshield to capture forward facing video and in direct sunlight on the windshield, it overheats in a very short period of time. This has sat up in the sun on the front of our windshield and we have not seen any overheating issues. So that is really nice as well. It does its job. Overall, we've been very happy with this camera. I will post some links in the description below of where you can purchase this and where you can learn more information about it. This has been the new cam Wi-Fi dash camera. Thanks for watching Road Gear Reviews and be sure to subscribe to gear up for your adventures. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Also be sure to subscribe to our channel for weekly uploads of our travel product reviews.